Hey, this is Paul Evans for NicheOlogy.com here in our third video on a non-beautiful Saturday morning here in Alabama. So we've had a lot of thunderstorms roll through and even amidst the storms yesterday, uh, my oldest was able, after the roads dried out, to actually accomplish getting his driver's license. Be careful out there. If you come through this state, he's on the loose. Traffic, traffic patterns. We talked about in the first episode, thinking about what these people, where, where their destination is. What are they wanting to accomplish? Talked about the golfer, talked about the bride. Uh, last time, we talked about where they're coming from so that you actually are able to pinpoint what their basis is, whether they came from an affiliate or from an article, what is their intent, where are they headed, and what are they going to do once they get there, and the result that they're seeking, we also covered in one and two. And now, what's the longevity? How long are they going to stay? What are they going to do? With the golfer... They're going to invest in this. They're going to invest their time. They will invest their money. They will invest their energy. They will anchor themselves in this market. Now, the bride, we said, wanted to lose that final 10 pounds. Well, she's not always going to be a bride, but she will always be a lady. So, most likely concerned about those few extra pounds of that cellulite, heaven forbid. And so you have to start thinking about this traffic that you are generating. If you're looking for that one-time sale, $10, no problem, and you realize here are 10 pounds, you do realize there's a sense of urgency here. So that's a, a great picture that you get to lock in on this market and know that you can make a pretty quick sale, but it's a one-time sale. But if you cross-promote and realize, well, these ladies are going to want to be in health and fitness long term, you now stretch the market out. With the golfer, they may not buy immediately because their need will shift, their sense of urgency will shift. In the middle of winter, the extra 25 yards on their drive is not critical. Maybe some sort of indoor training tool would be critical. But once the weather starts to change, the leaves start coming on the trees, and the snow is melted, and the courses are opening up. Well, there's a sense of urgency in that moment. So think about, with your traffic, your list building, how, what is the relationship here? How long is the relationship? Is it a relationship that we're going to know immediately that we can make a sale and develop a quick turnaround? Or, with the golfer market, is it going to be long, longer term? Is the relationship going to be more strung out? So think about that when you're thinking about your list building, how you're going to accomplish it, how much time and energy you want to invest in this market. Until next time, this is Paul Evans for NicheOlogy.com. Have a great day. Don't forget, success is not an accident.